the place, but I guess the line was too long. Good morning. So today I am planning to go to Asakusa where there's a lot of historical buildings and go to, I forgot the name, but there's this really famous street with a lot of street vendors and I really wanted to check it out and grab some food there for like a brunch kind of vibe. And then afterwards, I really just wanted to walk around the area, then check out Tokyo Sky Tree. Today I curled my hair because I decided that straight hair may not be the move in Asia where it is super humid and it rains so then my straight hair will only last probably 30 minutes at most and then the humidity will hit it and it will just look awful for the rest of the day so I curled my hair with my straightener it didn't turn out too bad anyways it is not supposed to rain today but it will still be super humid and really hot about like 86 88 degrees i will see you guys in a minute when i'm headed to asakusa talk to you later here and it is so crowded. The original plan was to go slowly down the street and see what there is but I think we're gonna go try to find food first. Just tried to go to this really famous matcha place but I guess the line was too long because they started giving people a bunch of like tickets and telling us to come back in 30 minutes. This was kind of out of the way of everything else so we decided we're just gonna walk around randomly in this neighborhood for 30 minutes then come back and then go on the rest of our day and I'm really excited because we're gonna go to a Shiba cafe.
unfortunately, all the tickets were sold out until 6 p.m. So we're gonna go come back at this like shopping area at 6 p.m. to go to the cafe. And right now we're gonna go to the Sky Tree. And I heard that there's a Kirby Cafe there and a Studio Ghibli Cafe or a shop. And I really wanna check those out. So see you guys there. are so tired and dry i can like barely keep them open and my whole body feels super sore yesterday i don't think my back or any part of my body started hurting until near the end of the day but around like three today i started feeling so tired but i decided to still persevere because there was still so much to do i walked around so much shopped at random shops and saw so many parts of just asakusa and i ended up going to ueno too i have no idea where it's at but i think it was kind of like the nightlife area of tokyo the street was lined up with isekais there were so many people drinking um hanging out and it looked like so much fun but at that point there was nothing that i wanted to do more than head back to the hotel and go to sleep and now my eyes are so tired but one thing that i really did want to talk about that i didn't get the chance the chance to talk about earlier was the tokyo sky tree i honestly did not plan for it to be like take as much time as it did because i didn't expect to like it that much i thought it was kind of a you go up on a high building and just see tokyo but when you went up there it was honestly kind of mind-blowing seeing all of tokyo it was probably like my favorite experience of the whole day but i am super tired right right now i finished washing up and <laughs> i can barely keep my eyes open i'm gonna head to bed and try to wake up early to go explore more tomorrow i'll talk to you guys again and see you in my next video Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck, oh my gosh, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you got.